Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 27th of May comes to you from London. And just looking at the energy mix this morning, quite a lot of red on the screen. Uh, we'll take a look at that at the end of this session, but uh, quite interesting just seeing crude oil just struggling to get above that $70 level. As I say, we'll look at that after we look at the main events in the market. So first of all, look at the dollar index, US dollar actually rising over the last 24 hours, so looking a little bit stronger. But this low that we saw back at the start of the year coming under threat. Will we find support here? Is this a double bottom building? We just have to wait and see. But for the moment, we are bearish on the long term and medium term charts, daily daily chart and the weekly chart, giving me a view. We haven't yet activated this downside target, but we do have a short term downside target, some 5% lower on the US dollar index. Looking at stir, uh, euro against the dollar, we're sitting at 121.87 just weakening against that stronger dollar and sterling sitting at 141.14 just pulling back again that dollar strength just a factor in the short term but the medium and long term charts still look good targets at 146 sitting there on the chart Bitcoin is back below the $40,000 level, sitting at $30,900, but is in short-term bullish territory, medium-term bearish, long-term bullish. We do have these downside targets. Uh, the key thing is now um, whether we activate the new upside short-term targets that are building. So for the moment, the picture is quite mixed. Uh, looking at the S&P 500 index, we were up slightly yesterday, edging higher. The NASDAQ also edging higher, but the futures today uh, down, we're seeing the E mini future down quarter percent and the NASDAQ E mini down half percent, just struggling to get through that 13,750 level on the NASDAQ 100. The VIX volatility is sitting at 18, up three this morning, but for the moment below 20 is relatively safe for the fear index. The FTSE future in the UK is flat, up 0.03%. In Germany, the DAX um, cash market is down 0.4%, and the CAC current is up 0.4%. So a pretty mixed picture in Europe this morning, and we're looking at Japan down half percent, China up half percent. So again, mixed and India down very slightly. Despite the pandemic uh, crisis in India, we are seeing support on the cloud and the Aussie market holding on to that 7000 level little changed overnight. Soft commodities, we're seeing wheat was up 1.3 percent. Corn uh, also higher. We have just been in short term down trends on softs. Um, the last week, but we are still looking stellar on the long term charts. Gold fell back below the $1,900 level, but still short term bullish, edging just below that $1,900 mark. Uh, and on all three time frames, we're bullish. Upside targets in the short term, some 1% and 5% higher. So that's what we're looking to at the moment. Silver sitting at 2760 this morning. Again, this pattern building, potentially a very big triangle breakout um, there as well. Looking at US 10 year yield sitting at 1.58%. Uh, still in a short-term downtrend, just pausing for breath the last several weeks, but the long-term trends are still there. And the German Bund, which we've talked about, 170 on the Bund future being the critical level, we are just um, just holding above that 170 mark, having dipped below it. The um, energy mix, was, as we're saying, Brent crude, just struggling to get through that 70 level. We've got downside and upside targets, neither of which are activated at the moment. Uh, 70 is the upside target, which is really back to the previous high. Uh, we do have a few targets in that direction, but some downside targets building. If you're trading crude oil, keep an eye on your one minute tar targets. The same with WTI. We're seeing that just rolling over there. A few downside targets, but uh, less clear on the downside there. US Nat gas breaking back above the $3 mark. Uh, looking good uh, storage numbers today will be key, but we are in short term bullish territory there. Coal actually was the first really to break to new two year highs, just pulling back a bit this morning, but we do have upside targets in place, uh, so that's quite key as well. Carbon emissions are down 2% in Europe this morning, just struggling to break back above that uh, level. We did break the, the the sort of reaction level that we saw last week, which was positive, but we are just pulling back at the moment. Of course, we need to break to new highs to be sure. And if we break lower than this, we activate quite a big downside target. And already on the one minute target, there is quite a big downside target there. Keep an eye on those uh, one minute charts and, and the box sizes you can see here. Quite a bit of downside potential short term. 
Uh, gas is down 4% in Europe this morning on MBP and TTF down much the same. So just struggling at resistance levels again, just couldn't break above that level. So we are seeing that there. And German power also just pulling back uh, very similar to the emissions chart, of course, but just struggling to break to new highs for the moment and probably won't this week, um, given that we've got these downside targets hanging over us. Uh, we're seeing Nordic power looking better and our only bullish call this week was the quarterly and that was the one contract that has done well. So um, that's worked out. Uh, that's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.